win And if I ever fail to snow, I'll go again I never quit, cause I know that every loss may lead to another win I'm going up Hello everyone, welcome to the Spot Real Talk My name is Tiara I'm Tiffany And I'm Ron And today we are back to discuss another episode of Power Book 2 Ghost uh, This is Season 3, Episode 5, titled No More Second Chances so um, a lot of stuff going on in this episode, but before we get started, please make sure you are subscribed to our channel, click that notification bell so you get alerted whenever we post, and also go ahead and like the video. You're already watching, you might as well like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's start talking about this episode. Um, you know, it's a lot going on, obviously, with uh, Monet and the Tejadas. You know, they're still investigating what happened with Whitman. Um, and, you know, Monet really kind of like get her and Davis clean that whole situation up and kind of put a bow on it. And they think that this is the end of it <laughs> mm. um, because it, in their view, it's self-defense. But Jenny was really going down the line of questioning, like, so how did you have your gun in your hand already? And I was like, you know, that's a good point. Cause yeah. that seems a little premeditated. <laughs> well, but I, I, I think the better question would have been, why in the hell was he so breaking into my house in the first place? You know, right. uh, you know, yeah. cop, cop or not, you got no business trespassing. Exactly, yeah. right? So, he was trespassing and yes, suspended cop at that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the way I guess she can justify it by saying, "Look, I heard a noise downstairs. I grabbed my gun. I well, know she, who." Yeah, she said she heard um, uh, Diana tussling with him or something, and she grabbed her gun. I mean, it's a likely story. We know it didn't happen that way, but, right. <laughs> you know, hey, I, I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, Mona has a whole lot more going on than just that situation because, mm -hmm. you know, she is still um, investigating this whole Lorenzo situation and the killing of Zeke. And uh, I see you sip your water, Tiffany. <laughs> you get ready mm -hmm. because you were right. I mean, you said that Monet would go off if she ever found out the truth. And it seemed like Lorenzo throughout this episode, he had been toying around with the idea of just coming out straight. And he even mentioned it to Kane. Well, Kane, Kane said, said that. that. Right. Kane, yeah, yeah, Kane said to him, like, why didn't you just tell him? Because I think him not telling her up front, mm -hmm. she would have been mad regardless. And, right. and, and it might have been the same fate anyway. However, the fact that he lied for months, he let her think it was somebody else, he let her kill somebody else. And then, you know, I, I, I don't want to get too far ahead of you, but I'm just saying, in the moment when he did come clean, he then Blame her too. Well, you brought him here and you brought him in the light. And I was like, you made wrong move, it. bro. It well, was the, the timing was, was wrong. It, well, I agree. But, you know, I, I said earlier too, he should have just said something sooner because, yeah. like you said, she would have been mad. But to yeah. go through a whole month or so with the lies and then having her That's kill somebody smart. and, you know, and then, and then you tell her and then you make the, the biggest mistake a husband can make is to try to drag her in on your, you know, on your <laughs> mishap. And <laughs> yeah, right, he said, he so, said yeah, we both are. Well, you know what? He was right. They both are to blame, but she was innocent in the fact of the killing. She had nothing to do with his killing. That uh, was not the know, time to say that. I don't <laughs> think that, I don't think ever there's a time. To ever, Monet. ever. Right. Yeah, you don't <laughs> just do that with her. And so, yeah, but then Monet, oh my God, that, that woman is, she's died by She, she lined him up like she did um, um, Whitman. Oh my and I God. told y'all, I told y'all, I, I told oh. y'all uh, Lorenzo was going for number one. I knew he was going to go. And I knew it was going to be Monet. And even though she didn't physically do it, I knew that she was going to do it because, like, she was, the way she was grieving over, um, over Zeke, I mean, she's a she's a mother, and then the fact that he was in her face, lying and all that stuff, I knew. I was like, mm, when she finds out, but yeah. One more thing, and though. One more thing I, before we go off that, I I, I want to say, you know where Lorenzo made the mistake? Remember the first thing she said was get out and get out of town, get out of New York. If I were Lorenzo, I'd have packed a short bag and got my little behind out. 
what he yeah. did. He went out probably drinking or something, and then he, he, comes, was drunk. he was drunk. Exactly. And so, you know what? I figured he must have thought, well, I'll give her a few days to cool over. And man, you got to take your cue when you get one. Get out and of here. You're right. And he should have known because he told Kane that that uh, Monet keeps things close to the vet. Like she won't let you see her hand. Right. So yeah. you know your wife of you 20 something right. years. Exactly. So with that being said, you know, and you saw her air that guy out in front of you. Yep. Yeah, and he still did not take his own advice. So yeah. that was the wild part. But, you know, even before Monet knew the truth, before Lorenzo had even confessed to her, she was already lining him up with Evelyn, you know, trying to convince Evelyn that Frank was killed by Lorenzo and that she needed to act in revenge or whatever, or either get one of her sons to do so. So, you know, when... Evelyn said, you know, I don't want my kids getting hurt. She was kind of like not really going along with it the way Monet thought she would. So after Monet finds out the truth, then she arranges a situation with Gordo. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, Monet was going to kill him either way, you know, whether yeah. he mm -hmm. confessed or not, because she had already lined the situation That's up. That's right. Yeah. I think so, too. I it, think so, too. I, it, it was a done deal. But it was strange, though, because she didn't know quite yet at the time or maybe she I, I don't know maybe she thought enough or heard enough to think that you know Lorenzo had to have been involved I and, and you know again it I thought Kane, it yeah, was Tariq yeah, it was that did it for her because he went and confirmed with Tate that yeah. the the guap that they suspected was not he was out of the country during the whole murder that right. was got killed so that told Monet, okay, Lorenzo was there. This guap didn't do it. So it must have been him. And I think in her mind, she had already rationalized that. I don't know. Did she know, Prince, but did she know Lorenzo was there? Did she know Lorenzo was there? Because when she yes, said. Yes, she said he was there. She the report. The fingerprints. His fingerprints were there at the scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. 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 She right, read the right, report. Right. And then she called Davis. Right. And right, she right. said, are you looking at the report? Right. And mm -hmm. and he's that's why he said, don't do nothing until I look <laughs> right, more right. into this. Right. She didn't right. listen. <laughs> right. She, she was throwing him off when she said, Oh, you were following me. Uh, you know, as if she didn't know. But she uh yeah, you're right. She did know because she did have that. His fingerprints were there. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. it was a done yeah. deal from, from yeah. that moment on when Tariq told her the guap was out of the country. She was like, And you got me to kill the wrong dude, too. Wow. And also she followed up once uh Tariq told her that Guap was out of the country. She then asked Kane, she said, who told you that Guap was the one who killed it? And she said, Pop. he said, Pops. So yep. that was the information. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying, though. I got to give Kane yet again. I had to, you know, he was trying to help his dad out, you know, because like she said, well, why? You believed him? And he said, well, it, it wasn't some, you know, dude on Pops. the street. This is Pops. Dude. Off the street, right? Yeah, so I, I, you well, know, I'm like, Kane, okay, brother, you, you were trying. Well, well he, told, okay. he told him last week, he said that, um, your secret is safe with me. So, yeah. is mm -hmm. and his dad saved his life? They had a new covenant, but you yeah. also knew, like I said, last week was the swan song when he yeah. and Kane made up, but then when he told Diana that she could get out the game and all of that yeah. stuff, he had that touch of more with Diana, that further convinced me that he was dying. <laughs> Let me say, let me say this. If Diana ever finds out that she was, was, uh, you know, responsible for Lorenzo's death, we got another. I think she or Kane, and, and I'm leaning towards Kane. You think Kane would do something? Kane. I think he would kill yes. Kane. Yes. Yes. I think yes. So too. I, yes. I agree. Really? Yes. But how do you guys think they're going to deal with the news of Lorenzo's death? They're going to be Are devastated. They, well, Are you know. Respect Monet? I don't know, because after all, he was drunk. He was on the street. You know, he could have got in a bar fight. You know, anything could have happened or caused it. But they're going to take his they're going to take his retaliation. Yeah, they're going to take it to somebody else. They're not going to suspect. Well, well, the rest then, of them are not going to suspect. Monet. Diana will. I think I Diana think will. Kane is going to suspect Monet well, because she was asking questions the questions he was asking and he said he said to Kane I mean Kane said to Lorenzo like mom is asking questions you know that's when he said 
have you thought about telling her the truth? Because she's asking me questions. I think she might know something. So mm -hmm. I think now that he is conveniently dead, I think Kane is going to suspect her. A good point. But I don't think well, he'll kill her, though. I don't think he'll kill her. Hmm. He may not kill her in the next episode or whatever, but <laughs> I think it, <laughs> I think it may lead to that eventually. Yeah, that could be a long term thing that they drag yeah. out yeah. that build up and, and it, tension between them. And I think it would have something to do with Kane and Diana coming together but for that. The thing is that. You know, Lorenzo was kind of backing up Kane's plans and the family was going along with it because Lorenzo said so. But now that Lorenzo's out the picture, Kane doesn't really have nobody to back him and his decisions. So a lot of things could probably fall apart from here. His mm -hmm. leadership is going to be challenged. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that could be a source of tension between him and Drew, definitely. Also him and Monet. So, yeah, I think it's going to fall apart from here. Yeah, and, you he know... Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, um, from this point on, though, I'm going to need Monet to get some therapy because she didn't kill three people in five episodes. <laughs> and, and a and an ex-cop. I mean, if I were Lorenzo, that would have been enough for me. You I'm talking about this a... season alone. She didn't yeah. kill three people. <laughs> I know, yeah. but I'm saying for you to put down an ex-cop in your home and contrive all that. Yeah. Whew. I mean that that like when she said get out of town, I would have said you don't have to say no more. Listen, we knew that she was diabolical because think about this. She also connived last season to keep Tariq in the game. Yeah. Because she knew Tariq wanted out and she was like, you know, if you just help me with this, <laughs> then you can walk away clean. And yeah. she killed Mecca and stuff before Tariq can get his money and everything, ensuring that he had to stay in the game. <laughs> so she's been yeah. conniving and diabolical all along. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought she might, you know, when she was speaking with Evelyn and asked her how did she get over it, you know, I was thinking perhaps maybe she was looking for some way to ease her conscience, you know. Running that game. Was, I know it was, it was a tired game. I, I know. She's running you know, game. My thought, my first thought was maybe she's you know trying to ease her conscience over this, but that wasn't the case. Do you guys think game. that Evelyn could tell the kids like your mom kind of was trying to coerce me to take your dad out? That it may be. come out. I think it, I, it's definitely going to come out at some mm -hmm. point, and I think when it does, I think Drew going to kill Gordo. Yeah, I think Drew gonna be the one to kill Gordo. Yeah, and like I said, Kane might kill Monet. Yeah, and you notice that things kind of heated up between Gordo and Drew. They got sleeping together now, so you know that complicates the relationship. And mm -hmm. so you were right also about the CI. He did not make it, and they were able to you know go in and retrieve his phone and delete the stuff uh, that that the guy had taken the pictures of uh, Lorenzo and them, but. I guess that kind of dead set no water for the feds. Yeah, they were but, nanoseconds. You know, they were nanoseconds mm -hmm. in missing that. I mean, you know, to to know how to go and bribe the uh, the woman that keeps all that, you know, all the material and all the um, equipment and stuff. But mm -hmm. I mean, had they not shown up a second, like they had shown up a second later, it'd have been over for them. Yeah, yeah, Blanca looked at her too, like she didn't believe her. So she looked at all her right. like, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, like, exactly. yeah, like who could have. <laughs> come up and got the stuff but mm -hmm. i don't know but it's nothing you can do about it it's gone now mm -hmm. and you know speaking of blanca they kind of you know are mourning the whole situation with whitman and you know just talking about you know because we one of our questions i know you guys interviewed uh peyton who plays jenny mm -hmm. <laughs> uh peyton ashbrook and you you guys asked her you know what whitman's death uh make the feds more once um want to get the to hot us more or would it kind of push them back in fear like oh we need to cool down and so you know it seems like they're still like determined to get the Tahadas. like they are full steam ahead and so. Tariq and mm -hmm. Tariq they want and, all of them and oh, Davis and Blanca seems to know yes. that, that 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 they're in you know their lives are in danger she she did bring that up in that little meeting with them you know because she understands mm -hmm. You know, they will do set themselves to nothing to do what they got to do. You know, they got to kill you. They're going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so you guys also kind of talked about uh, the the whole situation with Sax and, and Jimmy as well. And so we've seen that come to a head this episode where Sax is actually, you know, following Jenny now, stalking her because she's just been too suspicious and not answering his phone calls and kind of blowing him off when he's trying to make plans to meet up with her. So he actually confronts her this episode and is blown away when he finds out that Lauren is still alive and that she really deceived both of them. She was like, you know, um, I'm I'm trying to keep her protected or what. That's her whole justification is I'm trying to protect right. Lauren. Sax is like, right. no, you're misleading both of us. You're playing us both and buying. <laughs> yeah. So, and she lying to Blanca too. Blanca don't know that, that Lauren is right. alive either. Right. Right. So yeah. she's lying, lying to everybody. And um Peyton said in the interview, in her mind, it's for Lauren's good. Right. But she's trying she is trying to, to protect Lauren, but at the same time, she's also trying to win the case because as she said in her interview, her ego was shattered because Davis kicked her butt last, you know, last season and got mm-hmm. Tasha off, you know, yeah. the first season. Yeah, so if I you guys have to check him. out that interview, though, please make sure you go and look at that Peyton Ashbrook interview. Yeah. A lot of gems in there about the season and last. And I did so, ask Peyton uh, if she thought she could protect Lauren. And she, you know, I think unequivocally kind of in a roundabout way said, no, she couldn't. Uh, but what I think with, with Sachs, I think he can, you know, he may get a little closer to Davis now. I mean, I think instead of setting Davis up, he's going to wind up probably trying to you know make amends with him or not necessarily make amends but i think he's going to give up on the idea of trying to help jenny and blanca anymore because he's he's gonna blow jenny spot up yeah he's pissed yeah he's really i feel like it's going to come down to something like jenny is going to continue trying to come after Tariq, and that piece of intel that jenny has been hiding lauren and and pretending she's still dead that's going to come in handy, and Sax might hand that information over to Davis to kind of use as leverage against Jenny, you know, if something comes up between Tariq. So I feel like Sax has been burned, you know, and he was already kind of like helping uh, Davis with the Rollins case this episode. He found a breakthrough that, you know, some kind of misstep that could get um, his brother, uh, Sa- Davis's brother free. So that was a good stepping stone. I feel like he's just going to continue to side more so with Davis than Jenny now well, that he knows the truth of yeah. what Jenny's been doing. And remember, he broke into Davis's uh, uh, dresser drawer there and yep. found that missing file, uh, stolen file rather. And he wanted to contact Jenny and let her know. Yep. But, you know, Jenny was, you know, incognito, couldn't be found. And now yep. that he knows why, I don't think he's going to give her that information. I don't think so either. <laughs> yeah, he's going to keep mm-hmm. it to his chest. Mm-hmm. Well, another thing she confirmed in our interview that that is Junior. <laughs> we saw yeah. Junior, uh, Angie Valdez's um, nephew and stuff, because actually he was also on a step outside of the, the, the safe house for um Lauren. So mm-hmm. it's going to be interesting to see his role and how he plays, because, you know, Tariq ain't had nothing to do with Angie Valdez getting killed, but right. he probably has. He's probably um, angry about at the St. Patrick family, period. Uh, so oh, he'll probably oh. get going after Tariq. He probably gonna try to go after Tommy now that Paz found out that Tommy was the um the killer that she killed. That he was the one that killed Angie, and mm-hmm. he don't want that smoke. Yeah, so he gonna, he gonna be joining Auntie. Tia Valdez. <laughs> okay. so, and then on top of that, you have this whole situation where Lauren actually goes to confront Tariq. Tariq and she yeah. had the box cutter on him at first. And I was like, okay, Lauren, like, dang, you know, she was going hard. Um, and Tariq's you know response to her kind of shocked me because I would have been expecting him to be like, wow, you're still alive. Like, oh my God. Like, but he was just like, what are you doing here? And I was like, yeah, yeah, because he couldn't yeah, believe was- it. I yeah, but that was the first thing out of his mind. I mean, out of his mouth was, what are you doing here? You would think he would have like, oh, my God. It's where did you alive, come from? I mean, well, that, yeah. But I think that that was his version of, <laughs> wow, you're well, still alive. Because he was like, what, what are you doing here? Like, what? Like, he couldn't believe. The tone Sachs, was off, though. He should have said right. it with a little more shock. <laughs> but I think Lauren should have listened to Sax because as Sax was being pulled away, he, he did say, uh, um, 
that Tariq had nothing to do with, you know. And said that he loved you. I saw yeah, he him. Loved, yeah, he exactly. Said. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, it, I, I thought it was a little over the top for her to come out. Come I out think she didn't know who to cover. trust because the fact is, Brayden is his best friend. Yep. And yeah. she was talking to Tariq and Tariq said, Brayden is going to take you out of town. And so, I mean, you know, logically she would think like, okay, this is his boy. And you mean to tell me that he didn't know that his boy is going to turn me over to Effie or or whatever. So, I, you know, but she I has right to be suspicious. I feel like the introduction of Effie is what will make her kind of believe Tariq because she knows that Effie yes. is conniving. Like, if right. it had just been Brayden that dumped her off in the river somewhere, right. I think she would have been like, okay, Tariq did this. Yeah. But when Effie comes into the picture, she's like, nah, this chick is dangerous. She's jealous. She wants my man. Right. I, well, she, I think she should believe Tariq. I do think she should believe Tariq. But, I, you know, I do think that she has cause to, to suspect everybody. Mm-hmm. But how do you think Tariq deals with this news now? Because <laughs> you seen the way he went back to bed and he was see, 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 he was, see, he was looking see. at he was looking at look, her like ghosts. <laughs> look, I know, I know, you know, but I'm thinking if that were me, I don't know if she could just lay her chest on I mean her head on, on my chest and, and it's done for the night. No. We look, it ain't see. over. It ain't over. I know, over. I know it's you not know he I know. like ghosts. You know, hope- like go. You know, Ghost is a thinker and he's methodical and stuff. Mm-hmm. And and I, and I like to think that Tariq has that in him too. So yep. he's, you know, that he's not going to just react. I yep. think he's. Gonna- you don't think it, it? You don't think I started to call it Iffy again? Let me get that out of my head. I. <laughs> you don't think uh, Effie might be able to talk her way out of this with the? Uh, nope. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. So? He's going. He's going to deal with her, and and it may not be the way the way we think. But I, I think he's definitely cutting her off. I think he's yeah. definitely he's definitely done with her. And you know, he may not even kill her, but I he's definitely done with her. Well, because I, romantically, I think he's he, done that that's what I mean. He's definitely yeah. done well, with her. And here's another situation where someone should have said something sooner rather than later. Because yes. if she does say something to him, you know, she did say earlier she had something that she wanted to admit. Maybe she should have said something a lot sooner to um Tariq. And now, you know, she's held it for this long and he had to find out himself. Yeah. He still would have he still would have he still would have been mad at her because he was yeah. making designs to get her out of town and she went behind him and did that. And not only that, yep. Effie told Kane. Yeah. And she had yeah. no business telling telling Kane. Right. Because mm. Kane wouldn't have known had Effie not told him. Well, at least Kane when, kept his... soon as Effie, soon as Kane found out, he put the press on on oh, um Brayden and yeah. Lord, he on everybody to get rid of Lauren. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they felt like they had to do it because if they left it up to Kane, oh, Kane there would have been no hesitation. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Lauren would not be in no safe house right now mm-hmm. if they left it up to Kane. Well, that house yeah. ain't safe anymore. Right. Um, yeah. Well, you know, it's complicated now, too, especially after this whole situation in Italy. So, you know, they go on a business trip with RSJ and, you know, Tariq kind of impresses, you know, uh, the whole board with his uh, Italian and his uh, ability to go ahead and work out the business deal, getting leverage against that company. And then, you know, up pops Noma out of nowhere, giving them this mission to go to Lombardi's mansion and retrieve this listening device. And so... Brayden gets snatched up in the process, obviously being sloppy. I'm like, dang, Brayden, just when you had done good last week with the coffee company and all that, you know, you, you come back this week and mess it all up again. Um, all I had to do was you, snatch and grab. I mean, you know, he's playing around with it. Oh, look what I found. No, bro, snatch <laughs> that thing and, and go. Get out of Dodge. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, Lauren, I'm sorry, Effie had to go in and actually get the device. And they kind of are forced to give the device back in order to get Brayden. So they're trying to make this exchange and Noma shows up, kills all the Lombardi crew. But at the end, she tells Tariq and Effie that she's actually really impressed with how they dealt with things. And she wants to take their relationship from a trial period to being more permanent. And she wants to up the ante on what they've been doing. But she gave, Tariq, that, she gave Tariq his props because that mm-hmm. was an that was an excellent plan. I didn't think much of it when he first said what he wanted to do, but it was a hell of a plan to make the um, 
what's his name? Um, Lombardi. Lombardi, to make Lombardi think that you had something that you wanted to, you know, to exchange for. Hell of a plan, mm -hmm. hell of a plan. You know, he's he's ghost kid. <laughs> you know, well, you talking about with the um are you talking about with the the thing or are you talking about when he went to um no with the um listening device with the listening device okay yeah. Mm -hmm. um yeah I thought that was cool because you know before that he and Effie were talking about getting out the game, envisioning about a family, <laughs> being free, independence and stuff, and then you know, while they're at the little cafe in Milan, up pops no on them. So that, mm -hmm. and then they give him a promotion, and he, and that's why Tariq was bummed out. Like, Effie was like, listen, we're getting out of here alive. And he was like, yeah, but we, you know, Forever our beholden. freedom is, is oh, gone. Yeah. We, you yeah. know, we, just like that, it is gone. Well, but that's why I say this situation with Effie now, knowing what he knows now, he might be done with her romantically, but business-wise, he can't afford to both separate you know, well, that, and and you know what and that also would limit the amount of uh anger that he might have over it because you know you you can't you can only come at Effie but so so far you know if he were to you know act too weird with her you don't know where Effie Effie might go so yeah. it, it's 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 but he's between a rock and a hard place with Effie because mm -hmm. if you come off too strong she's going to dip and you know and at the same time I don't know what he does. I mean, he says he's in but he says he's in love with her, so let's see. He play it cool. Well, yeah, he's yeah. gonna have to play it cool. He gonna have to, I mean, I think he still has uh um uh, feelings for her. He he of course he loves her, but I don't think he loved her more than he loved Lauren. And that was I, I think he end up, you know, falling for her because Lauren wasn't in the picture. The picture. Well now what yeah. does he do? He now he's got two lovers. I mean, he well, always. I don't, <laughs> yeah, he's always. Yeah, the I mean, Lauren thing. I don't know that. It, I don't see a way. Kane and them will have to be out the way for him to pursue yeah. something with Laura, Lauren because she's always going to be in danger. She's going. Mm -hmm. She's going to be and in danger, and she's not in the life. She's very green, and I don't think she'll ever want to be a part of the life after what's no. happened to her now. So no. you know, I think that they're better off just going their separate ways. Um, what does Lauren she do though? Transfer schools. She got yeah. transfer schools. She got to go out of state somewhere, change yeah, the name. She's, she's, she, gonna, yeah. she gonna have to go in the WITSAC for real, or um, you know, or she may not make it for real because right. I, I'm still trying to figure out who Davis was talking about in that trailer when when he said she gotta go to read, and I'm like, is he talking about Effie? Is he talking about Lauren? Who is he talking about when he told mm -hmm. Tariq she has to go? Which yeah, I, it has to be Lauren. I don't see That's it. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, me too. So, you know, it definitely kind of shakes things up. Um, I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing what else this season holds. You know, this whole Noma thing, um, the fact that she really wants them to continue working, it's going to, I think it's going to force Kane and them to have to bring Gordo and that family on, you know, especially now that Lorenzo's dead. They, they just lost the, one of their big you know, uh, dealers. So they're going to need to bring on additional crew members. I think that that's going to force them to have to deal with uh, Gordo and his brothers. And then that's when some more secrets, you know, might start spilling about what really happened with Lorenzo. So I can see this going a multitude of different ways. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to take out Noma, though. I, I don't know how deep she is, but I mean, if he wants yeah. to free, because she, I mean, look at it. She she winds up in Italy with them. I mean, the chances of that. Back in there, every move. Every move. So the only way he can get out of it is he'll have to deal with her some kind of way. And it'll yeah. be interesting to find out what method he uses. Hey, well, is the situation is parallel, like Ghost and Tommy. And, and because, yeah. you know, that, that was always Ghost Dilemma. He was trying to get out. Tommy ain't one out, but they had to come. Like, think about the Milan situation. Right. They had to work together to get rid of Milan. And <laughs> um, Tariq is in the same situation with Brayden and, and Effie and crew. They're going to yeah. have to work together to get rid of this chick and her crew. And it was Effie's idea. You know, she's seen the portrait that Lombardi was actually Noma's man and that they had a child together. And mm -hmm. so she's kind of like, well, we got to find this child of Noma's so that we can use that as her Achilles heel to get her to give us our freedom or 
you know, use it against her some kind of way. So, I I mean, that's a viable option. It's also one of the most dangerous options. Oh, it is. Oh my! It is, but they gotta. I mean, I don't see that woman having an Achilles heel. I, you know, she's just. No, she, she's a, she's a, it's mom. She's a mom. That's you know. Well. You know that. I guess moms do kill dads, so you know we we see that. So. Well, yeah, look, she killed him. Yeah. Monet took out Monet Lorenzo. Took out, yeah. But see, that's yeah. the thing, though. With moms, if they're protective of their cubs, yes, you know, they you know they you know they. And what happens me. when? What happens when Monet gets a whiff of the fact that Noma has been threatening to kill her kids? You see, know, you that's think a, Monet might not be like sis. Wait a minute, sis. You know what? Um, I know, uh, I don't know if you guys ever watch uh, Michael Rainey Jr.'s and um, Gianni Palos, The Crew Has It YouTube mm-hmm. show. They had um, Noma and Obi on their show this week. And his accent was fake, by the way. <laughs> but um, Noma said that. She said she would, they asked her, like, what type of scene, what if you had a, a, a choice of what what scene you would like to do, who would you like to do? She said she wants to have a face off with Monet. Yeah. So that, you it. know, that would be that would be dope. Especially That's if you are threatening the kids, because I don't think Monet knows that part. Like when yeah, she, she was, was saying, you know, because Kane was just like, we gotta work. And Ken, and Lorenzo was like, we're on the clock and stuff. But I don't mm-hmm. think that Kane and Lorenzo ever conveyed to Monet that this woman threatened. To the, kill all of them. Threatened to okay. kill all of them. And I think that changes things if you let her know that. Yeah. And you yeah. know what? That would be smart for uh, uh, Tyreek to let her know that. You know, and maybe that's how they get out. Because maybe at some point they do come face to face and you know monet she's just as dangerous if not kids, more he should let her know that yeah 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 well yeah yeah he should have he in fact well yeah he should have done that a long time ago actually yeah yeah so like i said i can see this going a lot of different ways and i that's one of my you know theories i really hope that that comes to fruition because seeing that head to head between no one mm-hmm. and Monet would be epic uh. Joe mm-hmm. Frazier and Muhammad Ali all over again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh do you guys have a nomination for the game ball this episode? I'm gonna give it to um I'm gonna give it to Braden. You know, he, he had I'll to take give it. Braden the hands. I, well, you know why? Because he had to take he I mean, yes, Brayden, we all know he's clumsy as hell, but he had to take a he had to take a beat down. He took a serious beat down. And so I if I don't give him the game ball, maybe. No, I'll give him honorable mention of a game. No, ball, I just thought no. he, he took a heck of a beating, guys. I mean, you know, he got himself into the situation where he had to take the beating. Well, not necessarily because he he was as much responsible for getting that uh, listening device as Tyreek was. So they were kind of put in a bad situation to begin with. Now, yes, his his inability to just grab and go. Uh, got him, you know, in the position that he's in, but he, I, I thought he took a, you know, good beat down. No? Okay. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, hey, you know, this is a democracy. I'm, I'm ruled out. <laughs> no, no, you know, you, 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 you know, the no, is I mean, valid. Just, it's valid. I mean, um, I'm not giving him the game ball or whatever, but you know, you know, okay. <laughs> so he's his own. <laughs> what do y'all think? Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to, I don't know. I want to give the game ball. I don't even know because everybody messed up in this one. I mean, I do appreciate the fact that Lorenzo was able to come out and just tell the truth, but it was only after he got back into a corner. That's why I was like, yeah. I don't even want to give it to you now. Then, then he blamed her. <laughs> then he blamed right. her. Yeah, so then he blamed her. Like, game ball. So you see, the oh. only person that could get at least honorable mention is Braden. <clears throat> well, I mean, no, because Tariq, because Tariq, Tariq, was was one, Tariq was the one that called Noma and everything, and he risked everything to go oh. get him back. Yeah. So, so I say oh. Tariq, and <clears throat> not only that, he was mm-hmm. negotiating the, the whole situation with the Italians and stuff. Yes. So I yes. feel like Tariq can get the game ball. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. He okay. did. He was yeah. the interpreter, everything. Tariq okay. is, is the game ball. Okay. I agree yeah. with that. I agree with that. No, I, and no, I'm putting no, Braden no. on the hands list. Not only was he sloppy mm-hmm. with getting the recording device, but he also dropped his phone 
and Kiki was yes. able to see that he's been making transactions with the crash coin. You know what? I forgot all about that. And no man should leave his phone. Oh, unattended. Unattended. That he, that she I, saw was, I was like, look at this all in his phone. Yeah, uh, I mean, he, he, I mean, you can't hear your phone hit the ground, bro. Yeah. yeah. It was my, if it were my phone. Now. Look. Yeah, they were in that hangar. He probably didn't hear it. But um, but she was, I mean, that's one thing to pick up his phone. Like, oh, he dropped the phone. But she yeah. went to his you, phone. You I was what? like. That hey, that woman's women's curiosity. You know they're gonna get to that phone. I, I know. I'm like, y'all, sis. I think y'all hooked up only once. You already in this yeah. phone. I mean, she was doing a lot. She was doing, doing a lot. lot. Yeah. So Brayden is getting the hands. Um. Yep. Yeah. Um. Who else? Because I feel I, like Monet probably deserved a hands too. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, she was scheming. Her, so her sure. scheming. Yeah, she tried it twice this episode to get Lorenzo killed. The second time yeah. it actually succeeded, but she was doing a lot and trying to coerce people and, you know, just doing doing a lot before she had heart proof. Um, so I'm going to also say Monet can get the hands as well. So only one yeah, game. I don't know. I, I'm still not seeing it for Diana's boo either. Mm -mm. I'm yeah, not Di seeing it for him. I think he's, I still think he a fed. <laughs> and I was talking about it to, to my son. He was like, well, he's either a fed or a lame. I said, he could be both, a fed and a lame. <laughs> yeah. I, I think lame is more, more bit, you know, more of it. I, he I, might be just a lame. I, I yeah. don't know about fed, but yeah, he's pretty lame. Man. Okay. Well, this was a good conversation. I'm looking forward to seeing what the next few episodes have to hold. This is mid-season, so y'all know the formula for power. It's only up from here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, uh, it's up and it's stuck. <laughs> up and it's stuck. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, I'm looking forward to, like I said, seeing what they got next for us. Um, to all the viewers out there, want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop down in the comment section and give us your thoughts on this episode as well as predictions for the remainder of the season. Um, also, please make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Click that notification bell and that like button. Also, be sure to follow us on our uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We're on all major uh, social platforms. So give us a follow there to keep up with us. And um, check out our interview section. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we had an interview with Peyton Ashbrook, who plays Jenny in this show. We have also talked to Sax in the past. So check out those interviews as well as uh, some of the other ones that we've done for different shows. Uh, you guys got anything else to add before we close out? Good. Okay, so on that note, I think we're going to call it a night. Please make sure you are back here next week. Same time, same place as we discussed episode six of Power Book 2. Good night. Good night. Two separate time zones. Either way, we going all night long. Up late, smiling at your iPhone. I know the memes that I sent got you laughing.